everybody, it's Tori from Tinicum Library, and today we are going to be doing an owl story time and STEM activity. Before we start our activity, let's learn a little bit more about owls. Animals in my backyard, owls by Erin Carr. Meet the owl. She is a large bird with a round head. And when we say round, what shape does that go with? Does it go with a square? Does it go with a triangle? Does it go with a circle? Yes, round means that it's the shape of a circle. She lives with her family when she is young. Here's my pup. When she is young, she stays in the nest with her family. She has four sharp claws on each foot. So one, two, three, four. On each foot, she can move one claw to the front or back. She has eyes that cannot move. With eyes that cannot move, she has to turn her head to look around. She is a bird of prey. A bird of prey hunts other animals for food. She flies without making a noise. Without making noise, she sneaks up on her prey. She stays awake at night. At night, she looks for food to eat. Now this is a big word. Does anybody know the word for when you sleep during the day and you're awake at night? It's nocturnal. She lives in the forest. In the forest, she can find food and water. If you meet the owl, she may be afraid. She might fly away. If you meet the owl, stay back. And at the end of this book, there's lots of owl facts, and you can check this book out at Tinicum Memorial Public Library. Now, like we just learned in the book, owls cannot move their eyes at all. They have to move their head to turn and see things in different directions. So today, our activity will be an owl eyesight viewer so that we can see what it would be like to not be able to move our eyes and have to move our heads to see. So for this, you will need one paper towel tube, three paper plates, scissors, glue or tape, and if you'd like to decorate, paint, crayons, or markers. I'm going to take two of my paper plates and I'm going to put one on top of the other. Now I'm going to cut off the bottom part of both paper plates. Now on one of those paper plates, I'm going to take my paper towel roll and I'm going to trace the end of it twice to form two eye holes and then I will cut those two holes out. Your paper plate should be looking something like this and then you are going to trace those eye holes onto the second paper plate and you're going to cut them out again. Now on your third paper plate you're going to cut it into four equal pieces so it will almost look like a pizza with four slices. If you're not sure how to do that I can show you. So take your paper plate, hold it like this, and you're going to fold it in half. You're going to press on the crease or press on the fold to make a crease. And now you'll have this line in the middle here, so cut along that line. Now you'll have two halves, and you're going to fold each one of these in half. So you'll have another line down the middle. So you cut down that line, and you'll do the same thing on this one, and you'll end up with four pieces. Now, if you want to decorate, I will explain to you what you need to color. You have these two matching plates. Only one of them will need to be colored. The other one will not show. So you can leave one white, then you can color this one brown, or if you want a gray owl, you can do gray. Two of these are going to get the same eye holes cut out, and then they'll also be painted brown or gray. The other two will be painted or colored brown or gray. And from these leftover pieces from the original two paper plates, you can cut these. And if you want a beak, you could color this yellow or orange. So now that I'm done coloring, I wanted to show you that I took the two brown sections, the small brown sections that had eye holes, and I did round the edges a little bit, but you don't have to do that. So the first three pieces I'll be taking are my large brown section with eye holes and my two small brown sections with eye holes. And I'm going to take the two small brown sections and tape or glue them on top of the big one 
like this to create these little eye sections. Now I'm taking my little beak and I'm gonna tape it to the bottom. And my final two small brown sections will get taped on like this. And they're actually getting taped on the back. So this is what your owl should be looking like so far. For this part, you will probably need an adult's help. You are gonna start by cutting your cardboard tube in half. Now on one end of each tube, you will cut three short slits. Cutting the slits will allow each little section to bend over a little bit. So I've already done one side so you can see what it looks like, but you are going to squeeze the cardboard tube through the hole. And then on the other side, you will fold over these sections and tape them down. Now, once all of that is done, you will just tape your owl on top. Just make sure you line up your eye holes very well. Now, I'm gonna take off my glasses. So if you wear glasses, you should probably take yours off so you can get up close. You're gonna put the cardboard tubes right where your eyes are. And you'll see that you are not able to see out of the sides of your eyes. You have to move your head to see, which is just like how owls cannot move their eyes. They have to move their whole head to see. So I hope you have fun playing around with this and I'll see you next time. Bye.